treatment of Kawasaki disease, drug of choice is IVIG. How much IVIG do you give? We give single dose of IVIG in a dose of 2 gram per kg. It is given as infusion which is completed over about 12 hours. Sometimes infusion can be continued up to 24 hours, but usually infusion is given over a period of 12 hours. Single dose IVIG. When should you give IVIG? Ideally, it should be given a as early as possible. So, I am writing ASAP. ASAP simply means as soon as possible and practically it should be given within 7 to 10 days of disease of onset. Fever jab aata hai, then only we say it is onset of the disease. So, within 7 to 10 days of onset of disease or onset of fever. It can be useful. Remember that IVIG can be useful. IVIG can be useful even in presentation beyond 10th day. If the patient has very high ESR and CRP, or if the patient is developed coronary artery aneurysms. Now, what is the therapeutic regime of choice? When they ask drug of choice, it is IVIG as I just said. So, IVIG is the drug of choice. Dose 2 gram per kg as I just told you, single infusion. Whereas, regime is a combination of IVIG along with daily aspirin. IVIG is given single dose only once. Whereas, you give daily aspirin to the patient. How do you give aspirin and why do you give aspirin? If you remember the pharmacology, aspirin in high dose is considered anti-inflammatory agent. So, when we give in the first few weeks, the aim will be to suppress the inflammation. After that, aspirin is given in low dose for a longer duration. Low dose aspirin is antiplatelet, antithrombotic. To prevent thrombus formation and cardiac complication, we give low dose aspirin. So, you can remember that first, initially we start with high dose aspirin in the patient. High dose aspirin is approximately 50 milligram per kg body weight per day in 3 to 4 dividing doses. It is given till the patient is afebrile for more than equal to or more than 48 hours. After that, you switch the high dose to low dose aspirin. Low dose aspirin will be 3 to 5 milligram per kg body weight per day and it is given till 6 to 8 weeks. At 6 to 8 weeks, as I said before, you will perform an echocardiography. If echocardiography is normal, you will consider stopping aspirin. If echocardiography shows resolving findings, like initially there was aneurysm present, now aneurysm size has decreased, complications are going away, then you will continue aspirin for one year. Low dose aspirin will be continued for one year. And if there are persistent abnormalities, then you will continue giving aspirin. And if that aspirin is not getting uh, tolerated by the child, you can consider anticoagulation. For anticoagulation, you can use warfarin or you can use low molecular weight heparin. But again, it is a controversial thing and it is the cardiac, pediatric cardiologist should be taken into loop who should be deciding. If somebody asks you which anticoagulant is to be used, for anticoagulation, the INR should be kept between 2 to 2.5. You can use either warfarin or low molecular weight heparin for these children. And uh, the best drug, the antiplatelet agent is aspirin. If aspirin is not available or not tolerated, you can go in for clopidogrel as well. But clopidogrel is not as efficacious as aspirin and the use is only off-label. Since you are giving aspirin for a long duration, children will have an increased risk of Ray syndrome. Yearly influenza vaccination is also recommended in patients who of Kawasaki disease. So, drug of choice IVIG, treatment of choice IVIG with aspirin. Aspirin, 
high dose initially till patient a febrile low dose after that and then you stop it if subsequent echoes find it to be normal